There's been a lot of talk in the life simulation space this week because a new life sim game was announced. And this kind of news is always exciting, but this one in particular seems to be a pretty big deal because not only is it being made by a kind of huge developer, but it's also being worked on by somebody who used to be a lead producer on The Sims 2. So we'll get into that, but I want to give you some context on why I'm so excited about this first. The Sims is pretty much the only life simulation game on the scene right now. There isn't really any competition for it. Like when when you think about life sims, you kind of just think about The Sims because The Sims is like the life simulation game. So anytime any sort of other life sim game gets announced or people say they're working on something, we all get really, really excited. We've all been following games like Paralives really closely. That's another life sim that's currently being developed, but it seems like it's still a long ways from actually being released. In the past couple years, there's been a few games that have been announced and talked about, but again, they don't really seem to be anywhere close to actually coming out. And that brings brings us to a couple days ago when this new game was announced. I'm exaggerating a little bit when I say announced because we don't have like a ton of information, just a tiny teaser trailer. First, I want to show you the little teaser they shared in their live stream a couple days ago. I should warn you, this is very, very short, but obviously we are going to break this down and like read into everything as we always do. So the game is called Life by You and it starts off with this big open scene. We can see some people down there. There's cars. Uh, we have this scene inside with some Sims interacting. There's like a little bit of build mode shots, some more gameplay shots, and then it kind of just fades away into the beach. Like that, that's it. <laughs> it just ends there. I really wasn't kidding when I said it was short, but they say it's Life by You announcement event with Rod Humble and Paradox Tectonic on March 20th on their YouTube channel. So there's going to probably be like a big announcement in a couple weeks. So just based on this small amount of info, we have a lot that we can discuss. Let's start with who these people are. So Rod Humble is kind of a big name in The Sims. If any of you are super, super, super long time simmers, you might recognize him. So he was the executive producer of The Sims back in 2004. And then he was the executive vice president of The Sims in 2008. So he's kind of a big name in The Sims. So basically this guy, Rod Humble, was really heavily involved with The Sims back in the earlier Sims days. They even put a Sim version of him in The Sims 2 free time. And then after Rod left EA, he went to work for Second Life, which is also kind of a life simmy game. So Rod Humble has dedicated his career to life sim games. The company he works for now calls him a life sim visionary, which I don't disagree with. And now he's working on this new game, Life by You. And that brings us back to Paradox Tectonic. And you might recognize that name too. Paradox is who makes Cities Skylines, which is one of my all-time favorite games. So those two things combined have me really excited about the potential of this Life by You game. We obviously don't have a lot to go off of yet when it comes to like what's actually coming in the game. This is just a teaser trailer to point to their big announcement coming on March 20th. From what I've seen so far, I like it. And I'm going to be honest, the second image in this trailer being a car feels very pointed. I don't think it actually is. Like, I'm, I'm reading into that too much. But it is funny how, like, The Sims 4's greatest downfall right now is its lack of cars. And then we cut to this new life sim game and the first thing they're showing is a car driving down the road. This appears to be, like, a dealership, maybe? There's a car sign out here. We've got all these motorcycles out front. A little further ahead behind my face, we can see some people talking. There's not really a lot of focus on people in this trailer. We can see a couple sims in here. I don't know if I should be calling them sims or not, but we can see like a couple kissing. There's a little child here. There's somebody back there, like maybe watering a plant. It really happens so fast, so you gotta be quick with what you're watching. I didn't even notice this person when I first watched it. We can also get kind of a look at some furniture inside. We have a kitchen back here, big living room, dining table. The scale of these stairs next to this child is kind of making me laugh. Just in general, a lot of this stuff looks kind of weird to me. Like, I'm not really loving the interior look of this home. And I don't mean that in like a, wow, you furnished it bad way. I mean, like, I don't really love the graphic style that I'm seeing. But saying that, this is probably like really early on, so it's probably gonna change a lot by the time it actually comes out. Then they show us some build mode here. It says Cornelia McKenzie's house and we can see like some of the build features. This UI would probably change a ton when it actually comes out, but it is kind of interesting to see. We've got like some room tools, roof tools, doors, windows, columns, furniture, stairs, fences. I think that might be like a terrain or maybe probably landscaping button. Is that like a demolishing thing maybe? There's like an eraser button and some moving items. There's also another car out front. And again, I don't want to read into it, but it, it appears strategic. The footage they actually showed in 
involves like some selecting of walls. There's really not a lot of build mode they're showing. It was very brief. It all happened so fast. But if we go back to that like frame by frame, you can see they've like selected this one wall. We can also see some of the windows and furnishings. I'm really liking these shutters. I'm wondering if those shutters are placed separately from the windows. There's kind of some cool furniture too, like this little egg chair. But this obviously implies like a sort of detailed build mode that we can use. Then it goes inside again. And I think that maybe this sim is like cooking or fixing something. It's hard to say. <laughs> maybe he's trying to fix the microwave. There's some interesting furniture in here too. I think that the graphics of this room are more visually appealing to me than the other interior they showed. As a person who really loves to build in The Sims, this kind of thing is always really intriguing to me. I could just stare here and be like, wow, look at this fridge. <laughs> look at these counters. I, I mean, I could like break down this whole image. And then we have this beach scene, which is kind of cool because we can see what the environment looks like a little bit more, but also there's like beach volleyball. There's some people tanning on towels. We have like some boats and surfboards. So that's kind of an interesting hint towards maybe what could be expected from gameplay. But, but again, this is such a simple teaser. It's hard to look at this and then determine like what actual features would be coming. This honestly has me really, really excited though. I feel like we keep getting teased by announcements like this. There's been so many games that have come and gone and like never come out. And also obviously games take so long to make. So people like Paralives are still out there still working, but it's just gonna be years till it actually releases. This one though, feels like it could be a really promising competitor to The Sims. And when I say competitor, by the way, I don't mean that I'm rooting for this to come out and like kill The Sims. I'm just a really huge fan of this kind of game and there really isn't anything else like it on the market. So best case scenario for me is this game comes out and it's really good and we've got another great game to play, but also maybe it'll kind of push The Sims a little bit and like keep them on their toes. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this Life by You game. So let me know in the comments down below. It's so early, it's hard to like have any criticisms or like negative opinions yet because we haven't really seen much, but I will definitely be tuning into their announcement on March 20th because I am so curious to learn more. I don't know how many of you care about this kind of thing. I'm kind of testing the waters here. So let me know if I should make a video on that announcement stuff they're doing. Because if any of you are curious, I definitely will talk about it. But I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. I'll link some more articles that I found about Life by You down below if you wanna read a little bit more. Again, there isn't really much to read yet, but I'll link them for you anyway. But thank you for watching and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. You know what, that beach scene did look so beautiful though with the water and all the like water activities. I don't know, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued.